This is Vikram Shankar from Lux Terminus. Just thought I would take some time today to show you guys a little bit about the arrangement and take a look inside the session for our new song, Mosaic Mind. So here we have the song session. I'm going to open these up so you can see all the tracks. You can see there's a, there's a fair bit of tracks here, but it's really, you know, there's a lot of things that work together and a lot of layers, so it's not quite as many elements as it may seem. So just to think about the approach of what we do, obviously we have no guitar in our band, so a lot of what we do is thinking of interesting ways to fill that space and make the listener forget that we don't have a guitar and use that space efficiently. So one thing we do to achieve that goal is the bass guitar plays a very important role. A uh, distorted bass and also a very mid-rangey bass. More mid-rangey than I would use for a typical rock or metal arrangement just because that fills the space a little bit better. So if I just play the drums and bass for a section you'll hear probably what I'm talking about. So it's a very punchy bass sound, a whole lot of distortion, and that is partially what fills that mid-range of where the guitar would be. And we also use a lot of synths, and I actually have them in a riffs folder. These riffers, which are a very important part as well to the Lux Terminus sound. So I'm going to bring in the riffers as well so you can hear what that all sounds like. There's one track in particular that contributes a lot of work here, and it's using the 2600. Uh, in this case, it's from Arturia. I used to own a hardware 2600 as well, but the Arturia one works just as well. I adjust the filter and some nerdy synth stuff to create the illusion of palm mute. So there's some shorter staccato notes and some longer notes, which is a very kind of gent guitar sort of approach. And then of course Lux Terminus is all about the piano, so there's a lot of pianos here. I tend to use pianos for riffs and primary parts that maybe I'll double with synthesizers and a lot of leads as well. So if we go to the intro of the song, this is driven by a piano part that I have doubled with some various synths. So I'm going to play the pianos and the drums and the bass, and then I'll bring in some synthesizers as well so you can hear how I fill out the sound with some extra instruments. There are, of course, some very prominent orchestral elements in this song as well, and I'm going to play some of those in isolation so you can hear what they sound like. Another great example of the orchestration is the end of this song. The orchestra on this part is very, very fleshed out, and it actually was a last minute addition to the song. I quite enjoy the way the orchestra sounds on its own, so I'm actually going to play this full section for you, and you can hear what the orchestra sounds on its own.
choir enters here. There's triangle and all kinds of little details in here as well. If I play you that section without the orchestra, it's probably going to sound very thin, just so that you can appreciate how much the orchestra is really contributing to this section. It sounds good, honestly, but... That's the wall of sound that we want. And that was a little look into our new single, Mosaic Mind. Hope you enjoyed watching that and getting to see a little bit more of what's going on under the hood of this song and make sure to check out Mosaic Mind on Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, wherever you listen to music, it's there. So make sure to share it with your friends and let us know what you think. Take care.